that was a hard fought win in the end, but was it a fair reflection on the Lincoln Oaks? I, I, I think over the 90 minutes and the chances we created and certain things that happened in the game, um, I thought we deserved a win. Take, what, take nothing away from Dungannon. If Dungannon play like that against every other team here, they'll win, they'll win more than they lose. But it's a Tuesday night, it's a hard fought game. As I say, sometimes it wasn't pretty, sometimes it was very good. But listen, as I say, you take that. You don't always, you can't always play the game that you want to play in the Irish League. You just take the three points and you get down the road. That's what it's all about. We're in this together. As, as we've said before in many interviews, it's about a squad game. It's about what we do. It's about defending that six yard box and defending that goal with your lives. And I thought the man they did, even players that come on as a sub, and you only need to look at the reaction of some of the subs that didn't get on. They were cheering just as hard as, as the rest of the team, which shows that a real togetherness in the team. And with more professional players, the league has benefited from a higher standard of football. Are we in a situation now, though, thinking of some of the decisions on Saturday, a few decisions today, that perhaps the intensity of referees pre-season doesn't match the intensity required to keep up with the professional players? Basically, what you're trying to say is referees aren't fit enough. Is that what you're trying to say? Um, I, listen, it, there's there's decisions that are made. That things happen in a split second, and it, it, you can't always make it. the first the, the penalty decision. I didn't understand because the referee sees it and gives the penalty. The linesman didn't put his flag up for offside, but then asked the linesman or the referee could he consult with him. The ball was played to Roy Donnelly on the byline, and he plays the ball backwards across the goal. You can't be offside if a ball is played back from the byline. So we just weren't unsure how he was offside because he actually dribbled it by the guy. But listen, as I say, hope, thankfully we're not majorly talking about it because it could have been a big talking point. We got the three points and we move on. And we're in a period of three games in seven days. Two of them down. Well, players have a recovery day tomorrow. What does the rest of the week look like? Um, it'll just be, as, as you said, it'll be a recovery day. Maybe try and get an ice bath. Um, I'm sure the, uh, the fitness team and the boys and the, the staff and the physio will have them doing stretches and a li little bit of light running. Uh, and that's what it's doing. It's very, very tough. You know, it doesn't matter if you're full time. Premier League boys complain about having to play three games in seven days. You know, here we just get on with it. And it was a sea of red, green, and black tonight. When you're in the dugout, do you let yourself look around to take in the fact that our fans are in and away staying? Well, you couldn't see a space the whole way around the ground, which was fantastic. And obviously the fans are getting edgy, but see when that goal went in, it was it was brilliant. And and they were they were, they were encouraging us, and they are they are like a twelfth man, especially away on a Tuesday night down in Dungannon. It's a very very difficult place to go. And they started to get behind the team. And funnily enough, when they when they started you know, getting a wee bit of voice and started doing a wee bit of shouting, we actually we got the penalty and we scored. And the boys, as I say, were throwing their bodies on the lines because they were doing it for those fans that come down here, paid good money to stand and watch.